filming the second video of the day. Good morning. I hope you've been good and I hope you've been productive. But maybe things haven't been so great. You've actually been feeling quite lost. Everything, everything happens for a reason. Or does it? My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. I want to tell you a quote. A quote that I learned from my dad. My father told me to pass down the generations or generations and generations. He told me this quote when I was at a quite dark point in my life where I was working a nine to five, just video games and basically going on the hub the whole time and just eating junk food. I, was, I wasn't socializing. I wasn't, I wasn't in a very good place in my life and I was quite lost. And he told me this quote and it actually really helped me. What you put in life, you will get out of life. Now, what this means is how many of you Right, how many of you want or have wanted at some point to have abs? Myself included, I also wanted abs. I, 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 you know, I still want to have better abs now. How many of you have gone through a period of life, like of your life, thinking, like seeing your friend who's like quite lean, doesn't have a lot of fat and he's got abs and you've looked and you're like, oh, I want to have abs, I want that. Now ask yourself, how hard did you actually try to get those abs? How consistently did you train to get those abs? Maybe you did it for like a week, but then you kind of just fell off it, gave up. That's the thing. I used to always be so jealous of my friends who had insane abs. And I was like, oh, I don't have any. But I wasn't trying nearly as hard enough as they were. They actually were going to the gym, losing the weight, increasing their body muscle mass compared to their body's uh, fat ratio. They were actually losing the weight, training, and they had abs, and I wasn't doing that, and I was complaining that I didn't. Even though I wasn't putting anywhere near as enough effort as they were. This is what it means. What you put in life, you get out of life. The effort you put into life, life will reward you. Everything happens for a reason. It does. You see, if you're always, always waiting for tomorrow, telling yourself like, oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll, re I'll revise later. I'll work out tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow will never come. Literally, turn off this app. How long have you been on this app? Turn off this app. Get up and go do something positive. Go to the gym. Go for a walk. Go cook yourself a proper meal. <laughs> Stop eating that processed shit. <laughs> nothing changes if nothing changes. You can't just hope that things will change if you don't put in the effort. If you feel lost right now like I did two years ago when I first just started getting on self-improvement. If you felt lost like I did then, it's because there is a reason. What you're putting in life, life rewards you for. If you feel lost, then you aren't putting in enough effort. And I think deep down, you know this. You could do more. Like I thought two years ago. And two years later, I've been on self-improvement consistently, and I'm super, super happy. And I'm now becoming the most shredded I've ever been. Oh my god, I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot a self-improvement kiss. Oh shit, wait, I nearly forgot my whole goddamn outro! If you're not subscribed, there's a chance that you will never find this channel again. But if you are, or you subscribe after this, another video will pop up in the corner. And if this video helped you out, you should 100% click on this, because this could definitely change your life, just like this one has. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement, kids. Mwah! Can't believe I nearly forgot. <laughs>